Well, hi, everybody. Welcome back to another year of Southern Miss Sports Today with Coach Jay Hobson, presented by Bank Corp South. Golden Eagles getting ready to open up the exciting 2018 season on Saturday against the Jackson State Tigers at The Rock. And Hop, does it, does it get even more exciting for you? I mean, you've been around football a long time. You've been a part of a lot of season openers. Uh, what's exciting to you about opening up another season? Well, the first game is always an exciting time. I, I think uh, just the emotions, uh, the excitement, you know, the players, they're ready to play against somebody new. The coaches are ready to coach. The fans are ready to see some football. Uh, it's just an exciting time, and, and this year is no exception. We're going to have a great crowd. It should be a great atmosphere for college football, uh, an in-state game, which is always exciting. So. Uh, De definitely should be an exciting day in the Rock on Saturday. When uh, you take a look at this uh, Golden Eagle ball club, what, what sort of stands out? I know you've tried to recruit the last couple of years and get those Southern Miss type players in there. Do you feel like you're closer to having a squad like that? I, I tell you, I love this outfit. I really do. Guys are uh, working hard. Uh, that's and again, that is a Southern Miss mentality. They're working hard. Uh, I, I think it's a, it's a group that comes and competes every day. So uh, that's exciting. We know it's a. Uh, it's a uh, we every week we got to have our A game and we got to compete and we got to execute on Saturday. We understand that, but uh, our, our team goes to work, and I like that. It's been a, a great uh, preseason. Your fall camp, a lot of hard work. Uh, you know, you battled through some injuries, but uh, I think it's paid off. Looks like the team's ready to go. Yeah, we're we're getting we're pretty healthy coming in, so that's a good thing. And uh, I felt like we've gotten some good work. You know, this year summer training was cut back by four days. That's something that uh, is a new NCAA rule. So again, we're 25 practices instead of 29. So making the most out of every practice is important. I think that's something that we did. I felt like uh, we had good preparation. We've had a good game week. So uh, again, we're excited. and We're looking forward to the first game. We're going to talk later with Tim Billings and Shannon Dawson, but let me ask you a little bit about the defense. It's a defense that you had to replace some really good players in the secondary. I think five guys are gone and Maybe all of them went, went to a pro camp. Right. Uh, so you got some young guys there at the back end of the defense, but at linebacker up on the defensive front, some veterans up there, some really talented players. Well, I, I felt like, uh, and again, I like I like the nasty bunch this year. I really do. I felt like our defensive front seven is uh, big, strong, fast, and physical. And I'm really excited about our secondary. I mean, you look back there, it kind of reminds me a little bit of where we were last year. Uh, when you look at guys that, uh, that we get Picasso back, that's a three-year starter, he's back in the back end. Then when you look about at some of the newcomers, uh, they're actually junior college guys. You know, DQ Thomas has, has uh, come in and done had a great camp. Uh, Ty Williams has had a great camp. Then you look at the corners, Ray Sean's played a lot. You look at the fact that Ernest has played a lot. And, uh, you know, the secondary, uh, Kyle Hemby is a young man that I felt in junior college film was maybe the best in the country last year. And, and uh, you know, you combine that with Tyler that's been around, Xavier's been around, uh, Shannon Showers had an outstanding camp. I can tell you this, too, we got a lot of young DBs that have done tremendous. Uh, we're going to have an outstanding, a fun secondary to watch for years to come. I think about some of the young guys, you know, that have come out, uh, J.J. Jones, Curry, Ben, Nicario Harper, they're, they're three youngsters that, that are going to be really, really good football players. So I love the talent on this uh, secondary group, and I think you're going to see a group that, again, we do have uh, some uh, youth, but we do have age. And then we do have some youth that is young, but it's going to be really good. So, uh, again, I'm excited about that outfit. All right, well, we're going to take a break uh, with Coach Hopp. He's going to join us here in just uh, a little bit. We're going to visit in a moment, though, with uh, the Golden Eagle coordinators, Tim Billings and Shannon Dawson. But Coach Hopp will be back with us. We'll talk special teams and Jackson State when we come back with Coach Hopp. You know, I'm really excited about entering, um, you know, year and a half on the job, uh, second football season, a, a lot of positive things that are going on in our athletic department. What one, we've got a very stable staff and I think that that uh, promotes uh, a lot of well-being amongst uh, all our sports programs, so I'm really excited about that. Excited about the direction of all our sports teams. Uh, 
you know, certainly it's fall right now or, or headed into to the fall. Uh, football, uh, volleyball, soccer, uh, cross country, all headed in a positive direction. I, I'm really probably most excited uh, about our mission. You know, we, we want to uh, help our student athletes academically, athletically, and personally. And, and I've really made sure that uh, our staff and our student athletes understand of what that means and that we're making our decisions based on those things. And so uh, I'm excited to continue to help promote our, our student athletes and their success. Football season is approaching us quickly. Uh, obviously, I am really encouraged about where we are with that program. Coach Hobson is, has provided uh, really great leadership in my opinion. Uh, our roster is stabilizing. Uh, he's done a really good job, he and his staff, uh, with recruiting. And, and, and I think as we do these enhancements to, to all our facilities, uh, you know, student athletes are buying with their eyes. So when they come in, you know, we're recruiting 17 to 22 year olds, they're buying with their eyes. So when they see new graphics, new uniforms, uh, new sound system, uh, all those things, you know, they compound themselves and play a part uh, in recruiting. I'm excited about the way our schedule uh, is laying out. You know, we, we play Jackson State at home to open the season. We have a great group of five game uh, middle of September with Appalachian State. Uh, we'll go to Boone, North Carolina, I think. Uh, that'll be a, a, a very good football matchup. Uh, and then late September, we, we travel to the Plains and, and play the Auburn Tigers, which will be great for us from an exposure standpoint. Uh, being able to play schools like that, you know, are important in the history of Southern Miss football. Uh, we've been fortunate enough to win several of those contests over the year, over the years. And, and really what that does for us, um, you know, tradition's important. Uh, but I, I would also tell you the visibility for this institution and for this ac uh, athletic department is equally important. You know, we'll play on a national stage, uh, will be a great recruiting tool for us. So really excited about that. And then as you get into Conference USA play, certainly we have some big games here at The Rock. I'm really proud of some things that we've accomplished last year uh, as it relates to our facilities. The, the upgrades to, to Reed Green Coliseum, th there's more I'd like to do there. Uh, lighting, sound system, concession stands, restroom, seating. So it, th there's more to be done in, in Reed Green. I'm excited about our, our volleyball program. Uh, we redid the beach volleyball courts uh, we're presently building a, a new volleyball, standalone volleyball facility that will benefit volleyball. It'll also benefit both basketball programs because they can now have Reed Green to themselves. Uh, excited to, uh, about where that is. Obviously, we've done some upgrades to the rock, uh, pressure washing, painting, new sound system, new graphics, all those I think are key things uh, th that have needed to be done, but, but really I would like to take it a step further. There are more things in our facilities I'd like to do. Baseball locker room project I'd, I'd like to uh, get wrapped up. Numerous sports and facilities that need uh, upgrades. And, and so the, those things are really are w what's on my mind. Our Bauer Academic Center, uh, while we still haven't uh, broken ground on that, I, I remain uh, extremely optimistic uh, that that project is running uh, the normal course to, to get it done. As most people know, we're partnering with the library on that project. Uh, when we went in on that partnership, the library actually needs some infrastructure work, roof, uh, heating and air, alarm system, sprinkler system, and, and we're waiting on those things to be done before we can go in and start our project. But I am really encouraged about the Bauer Academic Center, where it's gonna be, what it's gonna look like. 
I think everybody will be proud uh, to have that facility once it comes to fruition. been thinking about it since I was a kid. Mom would be so proud. If I could do it for a living. Using my mom's recipes to open up a cupcake shop. For my daughter to go to vet school. Singing karaoke in all 50 states. Captain in my own shrimp boat. Tell us what you dream about. With the right loan or savings plan, we can make it a reality, no matter how crazy. That's right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Keeping you within reach of what matters most. We're Bancorp South, and we're right where you are. Now on Southern Miss Sports Today with Coach Jay Hobson, presented by Bank Corp South, is the defensive coordinator of the Golden Eagles, Tim Billings. And uh, Tim, uh, you've been around football a long time. Does it, does it seem like it? There's not much break between the end of one season and the start of another one. It's crazy. I've been around a long time, but I've been in football. It just uh, it's gone fast. It really has. It's. Uh, I think the biggest thing, obviously, for us this year, we, we've got a lot of, of our defensive linemen back and, and our linebackers, which is going to be a positive for us. Of course, they lost five secondary guys, and uh, you know that's where we're going to have to make the adjustments. And of course, that's also the position I coach back there, and the, you know the defensive backs, the safeties, and the nickels. So we've got some talented kids there. It's just experience, and so I feel like that uh, we have a chance to be really good there. It's just. Uh, uh, hopefully you'll see us get better and better as the year goes. When you talk about linebackers, we got a lot of uh, experience there. You got a Raheem Booth who who played so well uh, a year ago. You got Sherrod Ruff is back. You got Jeremy Sangster. You got a Shrimpshire and guys like that. So a lot of good depth and experience there. We do. We, we those are some really good players. You know, we got we got Akeem back from last year. We got Shrimpster back. Uh, you got Sangster back, and then you had Ruff. And so uh, those guys really give us. Some, a lot of depth and they can play uh, you know um, Walden Davis also right, he right. played some last year he's really having a great camp he's a senior he's been around so uh, you add him in that mix uh, that they got we got a lot of experience a lot of good football players right there you mentioned uh, the secondary I mean you lost uh, I guess five guys and uh, almost all if not all those guys are in an NFL camp somewhere so that shows how good of players they were a year ago but a lot of inexperience but some junior college guys and some guys who come and waiting for their turn are going to chance to play this year we are at safety you know you got Xavier Marion who's who's a senior this year that's just kind of been waiting his turn just having a really good camp Tyler Barnes, we moved from nickel to safety. Uh, we have a guy named uh, Kyle Hemby that came in from junior college. He's a junior college All-American that uh, has a chance to be a really, really good player. And uh, Shannon Showers, is, uh, Jay coached his dad at Florida, so he's got some good genes. So we got some guys there uh, at nickel, the positive. We got Picasso Nelson back, and then we got a junior college a uh, kid in named DeQuarian Thomas, DQ, so, and uh, also Wydell Flott. So uh, we got a, a lot of kids, a lot of talented kids. Uh, just We just need to you know, get some experience as we go through the year. Season opener is always a lot of fun. It's always exciting, but there's a lot of unknowns, both your opponent and with the Golden Eagles. So it, it's, it's, it's time, though, to get out there and play and, and see where you are, I guess. Yeah, and we're ready. I mean, we're excited, you know. Obviously, we're ready to play now. I don't know if we're ready, ready. You know, you never really don't know, know for sure that until you kick the ball off. But uh, we're ready to play somebody. To try, we're tired of beating on ourselves. You know, we're trying to, tired of going against our offense. And so, uh, you know, you, it's amazing that this time now in college football, you work all winter long, all summer long, and all fall camp and for these, you know, hopefully 13, 14 games. And uh, 
and we finally get to play one. All right, Tim. Hey, thanks for a lot uh, for visiting with us. Uh, best of luck this year. Going to be exciting. Looking forward to watch your defense play this year. I appreciate it, man. We're excited. All right, Tim Billings. He's the defensive coordinator for the Golden Eagles. Also coaches the safeties and the nickels on the Nasty Bunch defense. Our guest here today and looking forward to watching his defense play this year. We're joined now on Southern Miss Sports Today with Coach Jay Hobson, presented by Bank Corp South with the offensive coordinator for the Golden Eagles, Shannon Dawson. And Shannon, uh, it's hard to believe another football season uh, comes around. Uh, do they come around quicker than you think? Does it seem like last year just ended, uh, you know, a couple of weeks ago? It does seem like this year is a little bit quicker than usual. I don't know why that is necessarily, but it does seem like it's on us pretty quick. And when you look at your offense this year, let's kind of go by position. Let's start up on the offensive line. You've got, you know, a lot of guys up there that have some experience. It's yep. still a mixture with some young guys, but but you got to feel pretty uh, excited about what the guys up front can do, led by guys like Drake Dorbeck and yeah. Ty Pollard and some of those guys. Without a doubt, you know, this is my third year here. Without a doubt, this will be the most consistent O-line we walk out onto the field with game one. You know, it's very solid. Drake's played a lot of football. Ty's played a lot of football. Arvin's played a lot of football. Woods played a good bit of football. Uh, the only one that really hadn't is Trace. But I think we, you know, we all feel the same way about Trace that, you know, we kind of knocked it out of the park with him. We got a guy that was a, a coach's son that's wired right, that's a Southern Miss guy, smart guy, and, um, and, and we feel good about them. And I do think that, you know, this year, probably more than most, we have some backups that have a good bit of experience too, which you know as well as I do at that position, you know, you need that. You lost uh, an outstanding running back in Edo Smith, yep. who's over with the Atlanta Falcons right now, but probably have got more depth there than we've had in a long, long time. Yeah, you know, I mean, no doubt Edo was um, his career here. I mean, I don't need to say anything about that. Love to have him for 10 more years, but it's just not the way the rules are. And so we do have a lot of numbers there. You know, I mean, obviously the production, you know, we need some guys to step up and produce. But I do feel like we got about five or six capable guys. And running back, much like O-line, I mean, I feel like running backs probably takes more abuse than any position on the field. And so to have a lot of those guys is important. You mentioned we got Tez Parks back mm -hmm. there. George Payne is back after a, a red shirt year and an injury. Uh, and then you throw in some guys like T-Rod Daniels. You've mm -hmm. got uh, a guy in Steve Anderson Steve who's Anderson's, made a switch from yep. quarterback, tight end, you know, to running back. So uh, a lot of guys there that can uh, make some things happen. No doubt. And Darius is a guy, you know, coming off injury. Travinsky Mosley is a guy right. that, you know, two talented young guys. And so that's – you just named seven. And so – and a lot of those guys are, are a little bit different. You know, Stevens, a, you know, heck, he's 260 pounds, you know. So, I mean, you know, we feel good about our numbers. It's probably going to be a little bit more running back by committee than it was, obviously, with Edo. But like everything else, if there's a hot hand, we're going to go with him, you know. And so that might change week to week. You never know. Lost some uh, outstanding wide receivers. Corey mm -hmm. Robertson decided to, you know, turn professional. Uh, you had Alan Zay Staggers, Isaiah Jones, some veteran guys out mm -hmm. there. Uh, but now you've got, again, probably more depth at wide no receiver doubt. and maybe a lot more speed. There's no doubt. I mean, if this is the third year, and we're going we're gonna to walk out there with, with more guys that can run faster than we've had. You know, I mean, now, again, like you said, they might not have the, the history of production yet, but it's like I tell people all the time, you know, Corey, you know, there was nothing on paper from the past to say that he was going to have the breakout season he did. I think it's going to be true with some of the guys we have this year, too. I think that's just the way that position is. You know, you lose them and, and guys step up. And so we definitely have, 
we have the talent level at those positions. We have we have Speed, DeMichael, Jalen, Quez, Jordan, Trevor. I mean, we got some guys, Neil McLaurin, that can that can run and catch. You know, we just gotta distribute the ball to them. To be honest with you, tight end lost uh, Julian Allen, That's but right. Jay Sean Washington's up back. Uh, mm -hmm. You've got uh, Colin Kilcrease is playing a little bit over there. Ray Ladner's another mm -hmm. guy who stepped in. So, uh, but that's a position where those guys are kind of a, I guess, kind of a combination they are. wide receiver, running back kind of position, isn't it? You know, we have a we have a bunch of different type guys in that position right now, and we have some young guys that you probably never heard of that are that are going to get opportunities too. And so, but yeah, uh, Jay Sean, having him back is crucial. He's a senior. Collins, you know, he, he's going to have a much more productive year than he's ever had here. That, we're glad to have him and glad he stuck around and, 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 you know, fought through and earned what he's, you know, earned this year. And, and Ray's been doing good at camp. And, um, and a kid like Brian King is going right. to be able to, to go in some of that fullback stuff, too. So we feel like we have – that's another position, too. You better have three or four of those guys because, you know, that's a pretty physical position also. Been uh, some great competition to, for the starting job at the quarterback. Yeah. And, and you've got more depth there probably, a lot of inexperienced depth. It is. More depth there than you've had. We do. I mean, it's been a good – you know, it's a good, fun group to coach, um, you know, a lot of moving parts in that position, obviously. And so I feel like that, you know, we're better. And I told a guy this the other day, we're much better around the quarterback right now. And so quarterback, and I played quarterback, not very good at times, but I played it. But what people don't realize is that quarterback's a very dependent position. You know, you're dependent on those other 10 guys doing their job, although you get a lot of the credit when things go well. And so a lot of the better quarterbacks I've ever had in my coaching life has had 10 guys around them that were pretty that gum good, you know. And I feel like right now at quarterback, we're much better around the quarterback, so we don't need superhuman effort. Now go out there and manage the game, run the offense, and take care of the ball, and, and we'll be successful. Shannon, we appreciate it. Uh, great job with the offense. Keep up the good work, and uh, best of luck on Saturday. Appreciate it. Thanks. Hi, right, that's Shannon Dawson, the offensive coordinator for the Golden Eagles here on Southern Miss Sports Today. More to go, and we'll be back in a moment. Jay, talk about special teams. I know you're, you love the special teams, right. and, uh, you know, that's an area uh, that the offenses and defenses can play to a tie. Right. Every once in a while, though, it's those special teams that are different in a win or a loss. They kind of win the field for you, and, and the special teams are a critical part of everything we do. I always like to say they're number one around here. And when you talk about the kicking game, let's start out with the kickers. Uh, to get Parker Seanfield back is huge. He's a guy that uh, – Definitely was huge in two or three games last year. Won a few games for us, kept us in games. Uh, I think he'll just continue to get better and better. Briggs Bourgeois, Briggs is kicking off extremely well, so excited about him and Zach Everett's back. We have some guys competing like Tyler Flatos, uh, Peyton Snyder, some of those guys are, are giving some stiff competition in the punting, punting area, but I feel like our kicking game is really strong. And the one thing I do like about our special teams units are we're pretty deep at linebacker and we're pretty deep as far as bodies in the back end. We signed a lot of secondary players, which gives us special teams bodies. So I feel like, uh, you know, we're going to have units that are going to be fast and physical, and uh, that's what you're looking for. And a lot of options in the return game. I mean, Jalen, Jalen Adams, uh, Quez mm -hmm. Watkins, some guys who did right. some of that a right. year ago. But you've got some different right. guys you can factor in. Jalen and Quez. Also, DeMichael Harris is a young man that uh, we signed to Michael. He was, again, a, a star kickoff return guy at Hines and felt like uh, DeMichael, with his speed, could, could give us an edge there in the return game. But there's, we do have a number of guys. Travinsky Mosley, a young man that's got tremendous speed. When you talk about DeMichael, Jalen, uh, you know, all the Quez, uh, Travinsky, we're talking about guys that can really run. T-Rod Daniels. Darius Mayberry. Is, and Darius Mayberry. And, and Darius is a guy that right now is probably about 90%. And hopefully in a couple weeks he's going to be getting right at that 100% mark ready to roll. So uh, we've got guys there that have a lot of speed. 
uh, that can do a lot of big things with the football in their hands. So we're excited about our return game. I know you and I get excited when the season opener is just around the corner. It is on Saturday against the Jackson State Ball Club. Right. Always a lot of uh, – you know, questions. Right. You, you, you want to see what your team can do. Right. Uh, Jackson State's got some new guys. So right. uh, it, it's always kind of a, a, I guess, kind of prepare on the run sometimes right. when you're playing an opener. Well, the opening game is certainly always, you know, you, you're I always like to say you're taking that ship out of the harbor for the first time. So, uh, again, we have an opponent coming into town. We know it's an outstanding football team. We know the environment, uh, the football atmosphere will be second to none on Saturday. But uh, we know we got a great football team coming into town. We know we got to be prepared. We know we got to have our A game. So uh, the bottom line is our guys are preparing hard. We've got to take what we did in practice. We got to transition that to the field on Saturday. But again, it should be a, uh, an outstanding football game with an outstanding environment. All right, Hop, always fun to sit around and talk Golden Eagle football with you. Thanks uh, for the visit. Uh, we'll see you Saturday at the Rock, and I uh, know it's going to be a great season for the Golden Eagles. Appreciate it, Cox. All right, Coach Jay Hobson of the Golden Eagles opened it up on Saturday against the Jackson State Tigers. Need to see you there. It's going to be a great atmosphere, great game between the Golden Eagles and Jackson State. That'll do it. We'll be here each week to get you up to date on what's going on in Golden Eagle football. Till then, we'll see you next time here on Southern Miss Sports Today with Coach Jay Hobson. Been thinking about it since I was a kid. Mom would be so proud. If I could do it for a living. Using my mom's recipes to open up a cupcake shop. For my daughter to go to vet school. Singing karaoke in all 50 states. Captain in my own shrimp boat. Tell us what you dream about. With the right loan or savings plan, we can make it a reality, no matter how crazy. That's right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Keeping you within reach of what matters most. We're Bancorp South, and we're right where you are. I am more than just your local pharmacist. We eat at the same restaurants, and we give back to our community. At Rogers Family Pharmacy, we are dedicated to keeping you and your family happy and healthy. Download the Health Mart app to your mobile device and easily enter your refills, pill reminders, and so much more. Rogers Family Pharmacy, where we treat you like family. Health Mart, caring for you and about you. The Hey, Southern Miss fans, it's Toby Barker, mayor of Hattiesburg. Mickey Spagnola once wrote, if you're going to war and you get to choose first, choose Southern Mississippi. Always choose Southern Mississippi. Don't fight Southern Mississippi because no matter how hard you fight, those folks will fight harder. His words capture the character of our institution and our city. We here in Hattiesburg are writing a new story, one where we rise to our challenges with great excitement one where we push our city to reach its potential, and most importantly, one where there's real partnership between the University of Southern Mississippi and the city of Hattiesburg. Southern Miss is vital to our city's success, from the quality of life it provides through athletics and the arts to the talent it cultivates in the classroom. We share a common destiny. Hattiesburg is proud to be Mississippi's college city, and we hope as we go forward, you'll join us in supporting our Golden Eagles this season as they go to the top.